Okay, let's let's go over how to use Cheat Engine to make a custom grace as well as do other various things to improve your life in, in Neo 2. Uh, first step, and always the first step, is to make a motherfucking backup of your save. Because when you first start to use this table, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to screw things up and you're going to hear the game's going to get wonky for various reasons. So it's very easy to create a backup of your of your save file, um, you know, documents, Koi Tecmo. And then for me, the easiest way is just take this whole folder, copy it, and then paste it. After that, you want to download the Cheat Engine program. Windows might flag this as as malware. Um, it is a process injector, so by nature, it, I, you can see why Windows would flag it as malware, but this program is safe to download. You will not get a virus. Uh, step two would be to download the Cheat Engine table and this table works on Steam version 1.28.06, so that's fine. It, the updates will break cheat engine tables, so the people that create them have to scramble to, uh, to fix things. Each time there, there, there's an update, that's just kind of how it goes. Um, so yeah, once you have those things downloaded, so the, it's going to be a .ct file that, that downloads. Um, I, I have all my tables, all the tables that I like to use are, are merged into one, which is the cheat table, which is this one, um, Sado Commando skills, skills mod, Sado Commando's challenge mod, and the, the dojo mod by uh, Ben. Benzoin. I have those all merged into one. So you just want to double click it and then open it with Cheat Engine. I already have it open. The next step is to open process and with your game running, choose Neo 2. Now you should be, it's best to be in this screen right here when you do it. So the menu screen. And then open Neo 2. And click yes. Activate this. There's something that comes up. Blah, blah, blah. Just close that. Uh, if you're going to be screwing around with custom graces. And you're going to have numbers that are beyond what the game allows. Then you're going to want to check this box. Restraint. So the devs in their minds to uh, stop cheaters and hackers and stuff like that, they came up with this system where um, each time the, the the game loads, each time your character loads in, it checks for numbers that are beyond what is actually possible. And it'll set them back down to to normal. So I have Life Drain on Melee Attack 150. Uh, normally the game will only allow Life Drain on Melee Attack 24 is is the max. Um, and usually has to be on, on weapons, right? But you can actually put it on your armor and the effect will still work fine. Um, you see it still shows up in my special effects, right? Uh, I, I balance this with not using any other forms of healing, which includes everything, um, elixirs, omeo, and even the shifling, uh, passives for healing. I, ha I don't have those anymore. So this is the only way that I can heal. Um, I, I do this because I don't want to have to stop and heal. I just want to keep, keep the action going. You know, I don't want to have to be like, oh. 
I need to heal. Let me, let me move away from the enemy and, you know, press press the button for the elixir and do that kind of shit. So if I don't get hit um, frequently, then I'm fine. This actually is not as powerful as Extraction Talisman. Um, so you see that see my health bar right now. You see it go up a little bit when I hit this guy. You know, I don't have to like you shoot Doji and get, get the extractions off or use a talisman for that. Um, and also, it, extraction looks kind of bad. Like it fills the air with all kinds of junk. You know, it, Amrita. Uh, it just it makes the game look shitty. So I like it like this. And my grace also has life. Plus 350 because it seems like almost all the graces have plus life a little bit, like plus life 300 or something. Um, I also have what I call deflect mastery or timely guard mastery. So using cheat engine, I have increased defense on timely guard, um, dispel status effects on timely guard. And deflect own Mio on Tommy Guard. So deflect own Mio on Tommy Guard was something that was in Neo One. However, uh, it still exists in the game files of Neo Two. It just wasn't the player wasn't given access to it. Uh, with Cheat Engine, we can we can temper it. Uh, I also have untouched Ninjutsu, 100%. So I wanted to do empowered. Ninjutsu, but um, the the values for for that effect ha have not been found, so it can't be tempered with Cheat Engine currently. Um, and basically, I, I just want to be able to use item cancels when I when I want to because I think they're fun. And like I just always want to make sure that that is that I can do it um, when I choose to because I don't want to have my my choices for moves and combos tempered by something as arbitrary as the the counting of of a of a number like oh I can only use four this mission between shrines or whatever like it whatever I mean I I don't I don't spam them I'm not, I'm not here to like just to, you know. I'll hear you this. I can, I can balance that. Um, and the last one I have is running speed 30%. So running speed in Neo 1, you could get up to, I think, 85% running speed. In Neo 2, it was nerfed a lot. Um, and running speed is quite nice. So running sp speed is just your, your speed when you're moving like this. So it's not dash speed. This is dashing. Running is just norm normal movement. And it's nice to be not totally slow when you're doing that. Okay, so how did I use Cheat Engine to create this custom grace? How did I add those effects? Let me show you. First thing you need to do is Need to check the box for the equipment stats editor, like such. And you'll notice that all these question marks show up along the side. That's because we currently don't have an item selected. So we need to go back to the game. And I can just select an item. Like this this flying Kato's waste piece, waste guard. Um now, if we alt tab back out to, to Cheat Engine, we notice that all the info for this piece is now showing up here. The the name and the model, the level, the 
plus value, etc. And all the e effects. Running speed. Equipment drop rate. Drop rate versus Yokai. Auto, you know, etc, etc, etc. Life. And under under each one, there's there's a strength. So running speed, 19. Well, if I go over here, it's 1.9% or 19. For a percent, it's going to always show up like that. So if I want this to be 20%, do I put in 20? No. Put in 200. And I go back to my game and say, whoa, okay, it actually hasn't changed. What the hell? This sucks. Well, if I move off of it, then go back to it, then I, I can see the changes. The 20%. Now, we have this effect, which kind of sucks. I don't want that. If we double click it, there's a, there's a drop down menu that shows up. And there is a huge list of effects that we can just simply write to our gear. So many. Look at all this. So this is actually, these effects are what was known as Perry Disabled from the first Neo. So these are actually in Neo 2 in the game files. They're, you can use them for the first seven weapons. The Tonfa, Sword, Spear, Odachi, Kusa, Dual Swords, Axe. So if you don't want to have your, um, your attacks bounce off guard, then you can, a you can add, that to your, uh, add that to your gear. So yeah, you see that it's a very, very big list. Sloth on own meal hit. Sloth. <laughs> Sloth duration. So let's say I think Sloth is Sloth sucks. Like it doesn't last long enough. Well, let's make that three thousand. Oh, wait, no, um, this is actually sloth how it's on you, right? So if you don't want to be e affected by sloth at all, like you, if you get hit by sloth and you want it to, 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 to go away, like instantly. So, yeah, it says uh, sloth affliction duration. So that's when, it's, when, when if you're hit by sloth, minus 70% is what it is in, on default. Now, if I change that to... A thousand. So if I get hit by sloth, it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything to me. I won't I won't notice it at all. Now what else can we mess with? Uh, oh, there was one. So. Scampus Escort Duration. Well, let's say I, I want it, I want my Scampus to always be by my side. If I if I uh, if I call on a Scampus or I find one, I want them to stay with me for the for the mission and not and not go away. So I'm going to change that to 1,000. And there we go, Scampus Escort Duration. Um, so when when people say, oh, you know, Neo 2 doesn't have many mods, you know, wah, 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 um, I kind of cringe at that because this game doesn't need to have many mods written, right? It does, like, you don't, people don't need to spend time to write, to write a mod when the cheat engine table already allows us to do so many different things. So when people say the, oh, there aren't many mods, well... There are, you just have to, they're all just kind of wrapped into one, one table. Um, you know, for most games, 
you would you would need to have a separate mod for this, right? Each one you would need a a separate mod. Uh, you would need the the mod to run faster. You would need the mod for the the ally to not leave you. You would need a separate mod so this status effect doesn't do anything to you. You would need to have separate mods. Well, we don't actually need that. They're all tied into into uh, cheat engine because Neo by default allows us to play with all these different things. So. Yeah, it's kind of cringe when people say that there aren't many mods for Neo. Neo actually has way more mods than than um, pretty much any game, simply because it allows you to control, uh, you know, so many different aspects of it. Um. Oh. Which one was I fucking with? Yeah, this one. So. And let me show you how. So we can actually add different different set bonuses. We can stack uh, set bonuses onto our gear. So we'll add this one. So now we see we have two different set bonuses. Now, what you'll find is that you typically don't need to, like, if you want the e effects of a set bonus, you, like, um, it's not, you don't really need to add the, the bonus itself. What, um, what you need to do is just go and decide which of these, which parts of these do you want, and then add them by itself, right? So I want damage bonus. Ninjutsu power, a, a, a minus, but I don't care about all these other things. So, so let's just add that. Instead of life, we don't need that. So damage bonus, ninjutsu power, and so with the the. The effects that are a letter, like, you know, A, B, C, D, or what, uh, D, C, B, A, double A, triple A. I think one would be D. Right? Yeah, see, one is D. Um, or Six would be sixteen. Six so sixteen is triple A. So fourteen would be AAA minus or fifteen. Right, see. Okay, so like you, you if you're gonna make a custom grace, you typically don't need to add in the, the set bonus pieces. Like you don't need to add in the Add in these slots. You just have to decide which which pieces of the the grace that you want, and then add those add in those effects by themselves. Because most of them you can find. There are a few that you can't. Um, Death Dancer is one of them. Uh, Empowered Omio is another. Empowered Ninjutsu is is another. Uh, for some reason, people haven't found those values. Um, what about versatility? Yeah, I don't think that one's in here too. So like a, a lot of the ones where you, where you like build stacks, um, you can't just add those into your, uh, uh, you can't add those to your gear by themselves. You will need to actually add in the the set bonus pieces. So you would need to add in like you know, six pieces of Susano, for example, if I wanted this. That's un unfortunate, but that's, that's how it goes. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, so uh, this this one cheat in the table is full of different features. Um, you can go through it and decide for yourself whether it's something you want to use. 
know, infinite buffs, infinite shortcut items, infinite key, infinite yokai shift duration, blah, 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 blah. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do here. Um, so, yeah, you want to go through it and decide whether it's cool. Um, I can show you two that I think are pretty neat that I've used. Uh, one of them is the set set item number. Where is that? Yeah, here. Set set item quantity. Obviously, could be useful. Uh, umber site. So six hundred umber site. Ah, that's a lot. But what if I need some more? So check that off. Um. Move back to it, highlight it, whatever, and then you see the the quantity is set. Six hundred. Let's just make that nine hundred ninety nine. See, now we have nine hundred ninety nine. Nine hundred ninety nine. Another cool feature is. Um, change item to drop into. So I, I don't know. The the English isn't so always so great on these on some of these, but um, basically what this does is it by dropping an item, you can change it into something else. So let's say I don't want to farm for boss skills. I just want the skills. Severing spin. So the item that I drop is now severing spin. So if I picked that up, I would gain severing spin if I didn't have it. Now, if you're going to change an, I an item into a boss skill, it needs to be purple. So you need to use the purple tier of, of items. Right, so that's why I use the the herbal remedy because those are purple. Um, and if you look at it's, if you're gonna if you're gonna be changing your items into like rare things, you probably better off using starting with a purple item. Um, because I, I think there can be conflicts if you use an item below that, like a. Like a blue, a blue tier item or a, or a white tier item. Um, um, you can do soul cores, smithing text. You want the smithing text? So like all, all these enemies are all yeah, these are all soul cores. So. Where is Onryoki? Onryoki. Give me that Onryoki core. You see, now it's in. Onryoki soul core. Um, while going through that list, I found a, a, a number of things that has actually cut content from Neo 2, including one of my favorite items from the first Neo, which is the Mind Control Talisman. You can make your make your enemies do a gesture. Just, you know, tons of fun. And for some reason, these items do not go go away. So even if I'm outside of the dojo, see how it, I only have one. But I, I can I can spam it forever, and it won't ever de deplete. I don't know why that is. But I'm not going to complain. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, there are a few other things I found that cut content. Flying sword talismans. Those are from Neo 1. Conch shell. So this is to... You can call all the all the enemies to you. I guess that was probably cut because now we have 
now there's an, an item in the game for that that, that we can use like it's like a different item um, it's like a incense I think but yeah this this was from Neo one and it was cut from Neo 2. Touch me not, so uh, if you have quick change and you die, like you'll explode. <laughs> I don't know how, how great that is, but it could be funny. You could do some funny stuff with it. Okay. Fuck off. Um. What else have I found? Uh, the... Aesthetic Talisman, which gives you the same buff as the... As the deer, Guardian Spirit. The spirit from... Honda. Honda's Guardian. So, like, I don't... I don't get staggered by hits. We just do cut content. Interesting. And there's there's a few others that I found um, that are cut content. You know, you can you can go through and check them out yourself. I'm not gonna like go through them all. This this video is long, way too long as it is, and most people have probably tuned out by now, so, you know, see you later, like, shut up, shut up, you fucking talk too much, too long, shut up.